Messerschmitt K.R. 175 1953-1955 The Messerschmitt K.R. 175 Microcar, 1953-1955, was the first vehicle built by Messerschmitt under its 1952 agreement with Fritz Fend. In concept, although not in actual design, it was an extended version of the Fend Flitzer Invalid Carriage. Approximately 15,000 were built before it was replaced by the Messerschmitt KR200 in 1956. Messerschmitt, temporarily not allowed to manufacture aircraft, had turned its resources to producing other products. In 1952, Fend approached Messerschmitt with the idea of manufacturing small motor vehicles. These were based on his Fend Flitzer Invalid Carriage. The first of Fenn's vehicles to enter production at Messerschmitt's Regensburg factory was the KR-175. The title cabin roller means scooter with cabin. While the Messerschmitt name and insignia were used on the car, a separate company, incorporated as Regensburger Stahl und Metlbagem, was created to manufacture and market the vehicle. There were several problems with the first KR-175S to be built resulting in 70 design modifications between the beginning of production in February and June 1953. The KR200 was developed from the KR175 and replaced it in 1955. Being based on the cabin roller platform, the KR175 had tandem seating accessed by a hatch that opened upward and to the right. The standard version of the KR-175's hatch had a canopy made from a large plexiglass dome with a cutout at the front for a small, flat glass windshield and a cutout on either side for the frames for the sliding windows. A Sportster model was available without the dome or the windows, with only the windshield attached. The windshield wiper was manually operated. The KR-175 ran on a 173cc. 10.6 cubic inches, Fishtail and Sachs air-cooled single-cylinder two-stroke engine positioned in front of the rear wheel, just behind the passenger's seat. The engine was started with a pull rope as standard, but there was an option of an electric starter. The electric starter became standard in 1954. The transmission was a sequential, positive stop type with four speeds and no synchronization nor reverse gear. The KR-175 used the standard cabin roller steering system, with a steering bar connected directly to the track rods of the front wheels, providing an extremely direct response best suited to small, measured inputs. The KR-175's steering bar was made from tubular steel. The gear shift lever, on the right side of the cockpit, had a secondary lever on it which operated the clutch. The throttle was operated by a twist grip on the left handlebar. The foot brake pedal, which was the only pedal in the car, operated brakes on all three wheels mechanically, using cables. The handbrake lever operated similarly. In 1954, the clutch lever was replaced by a pedal, 